Welcome back, folks, to the Via Pinstriping page. Today we're going to be pinstriping this uh, acoustic guitar. This is my guitar. It is a three-quarter size Oscar Schmidt. Oscar Schmidt. Uh, I think it's made by Washburn. Now we're going to be using the Kafka number one. And this is sort of a cream color that I mixed up using Alpha 6 enamel white and some one shot yellow and one shot brown very small amounts of, of yellow and brown to make this sort of a cream color <clears throat> you may not be able to differentiate between this and white just because uh, you know it's it's got to be next to some actual white for it to be noticeable So today we're just going to have some fun. I'm going to start off in the middle here. I did my grid with a wet erase marker. I think I misspoke previously in a video and I said that they were dry erase, but these are wet erase. Now I've yet to decide on whether or not this will have a, a second color, but we'll see as we go along. For now I'm just going to start with this cream. Now the upside to using these uh, wet erase markers is if I spray some Windex on it after the after the paint has dried, I don't even have to wipe it off. It just comes right off. No rubbing. No worrying uh, whether or not it if it got in the grain or whatever. It dissipates completely with uh, water or Windex. And so far, I've not had any issues with it affecting my paint. Although, I would imagine if you're using just straight white, uh, you might have an issue with it picking up some of that grid color, which is, uh, oh, I think it's red. Although you can't really see it too well in this orange background. Now because this is sort of a fancier color, I decided I'm going to do sort of some scrolls. Sometimes you do have to go over the same line twice. I haven't uh, picked up this brush in about a week, so it's... You know what? You guys can watch my first mistake. So I'm going to use some mineral spirits to wipe this off. Another nice thing about these uh, grid lines 
is uh, mineral spirits doesn't seem to take it off. Water will, but uh, mineral spirits does not. Oddly enough. Now when I go to do a, an actual design, something that I want to keep, um, I don't just push through. If it's an early mistake, I try to fix it. Uh, if it's something where like I'm already deep into the design, um, then I'll, I'll do a fix or something or decide on if I want to fix it. But if it's early on, just wipe it off, start over. This is what uh, so the time it normally takes. Like if you all see the time lapse stuff, sometimes it takes me a while to get something started. All right, now let's see if I can match it without messing it up. All right, we got something going. All right, see if I can redo that one. So it looks like it starts here. Swoop. See, I try to look at where where it ends up. That's the thing with doing these symmetrical scrolls, kind of seeing 
See, each this one's lower, this one's higher, this one's higher. And it looks like... Something like that. Yeah, it's not too bad. See if uh, sometimes I'll mess up and I'll not give myself anywhere to put my finger. That can be a problem. Put a little connection there. Kind of gives me a base for something else. So let's see here. Now I'm going to try to follow the shape of the guitar. If I can. We'll try to take a look here. See this one starts out there goes up just a little bit 
Which stick flings upward. See, this side's a little easier because I don't have the camera in my face. And I'm trying kind of to not turn the guitar. That way y'all can see what's going on. Something like that. <clears throat> yeah, it looks all right. Let's see if y'all could see it on the camera there. Sorry for the funny angles, y'all. It's the only way I could do this without having my damn head in the shot. So I kind of want to thicken these up a little bit. Now when you get to doing these swoops, you always want to kind of see where it's, where did it get fat and where does it not get fat. That way you can kind of match it as close as possible. Now all I did to prep this guitar was I cleaned it real good with some Windex. Um, I didn't want to go with any harsh cleaners. Um, I have I never polished it because I just got it recently. Um, well, I guess not super recently ago, but I never polished it. So I, I knew that I didn't have any wax on there to begin with. Mixing up the paint a little bit right now. <clears throat> now I think, um, I don't know if I want to work my way down or work my way up. Let's see if I could put something in here if it don't look too crazy. Oh, I guess you can't see that, can you? Well, see all that dead time that I have in these videos when I do it um, real time, is me getting the damn paint ready. <clears throat> so it does take a while. Oh, I was flying blind there where it kicked out. not going to work. <clears throat> I couldn't see because the camera's in the way. 
That's the thing with the scroll and stuff too. Sometimes as you're pulling the line, you kind of cross over your own hand. You can't see. So you got to be used to the feel of the brush. And you can sort of tell if you're still rocking a clean line or not. Sometimes you can just feel it flick off. I think what I'm going to do is work something off the top. That way it kind of frames here and the bottom. But in order to do that, I'm going to move it. I'm sure watching me move this damn thing has got to be super exciting. <laughs> Well, we're only at 21 minutes. It's not too bad. We got a pretty good start. Not exactly following the sound hole, is it? Let's try that one again. Sometimes, if you want to make something look nice, you end up wiping more than you stripe. Especially if it's yours. You gotta look at it all the damn time. Well, sometimes I'll blow on this mineral spirits just to get it to dry up quicker. I don't want to accidentally start eating into the uh, clear coat. See if I can get a little straighter.
Now, I'll try to run the paint a little bit more dry if I got real tight curls like that. That way I'm not slipping and sliding everywhere. But, uh, you'll have a tendency of running out of paint. See if I can match that side. See if I can get you away from the glare. Holy cow. Well, I'll show you afterwards if it matches. <laughs> Now the other issue is I got really short arms. So I'm going to try to do this without touching the old paint at the bottom. So it looks like I go down, up. <clears throat> now, like I said before, I kind of try to mix this paint a little bit more dry, knowing that I'm going to do some tighter curls. So even even depending on the maneuver you're about to do, um, you might mix the paint differently. If I was going to go down this whole guitar and do a bunch of scrolls, um, this paint would be pretty. Pretty well loose, pretty uh, reduced. Well, it's kind of close. It is a tad choppier than the other side, but I can live with it. Another thing you got to consider when possibly fixing mistakes is do you really want to go through the trouble of doing it again? Alright, so we're going to go like that. This is actually going to go down like that. So I'm trying to measure in my mind how far I need to go, how far the loop goes out, what's the shape of the loop, 
and where the tail ends. So I'm, I'm kind of considering the entire thing. Hoping I can remember and execute it. So here, I could tell that I started kind of fat, push down. It starts about right there. Loops around like such. That might be a little too wide, but we'll see what happens. Down. Out. Kind of curving the entire time. Swooping back in. Right. <clears throat> now, take a quick look here. Sorry, y'all. That glare ain't gonna let me. But I'll straighten it back out and see what we got. The other thing when doing a guitar is you want to support the neck. You don't want to bend it. And end up with a warped guitar. So I'm just making sure I... Don't have any air bubbles. Sometimes... Pushing this paint around, you, you end up with little air bubbles. If you don't pop them early, they'll kind of leave little uh, craters, kind of tiny craters in your paint. Um, now, if you're if you're too far in or too far out on these doodads, where I started, I, I know you can't really see this, but Sometimes you can make one side thicker. Kind of fake them into position as long as they're close. You know, in the end, this is hand painted. You know, you, you want to aim for perfection, but um, the character is in the imperfections. So I'll take a quick glance. Pretty close. I got that down there. See if I can get a shot without the damn glare. So that's the beginning. Sorry for the weird angles. And uh, I can see we're a little, it's a little bit different, but what are you going to do? It's hand painted. I'll probably add another color to it on the next video. Thanks for watching.